It turns out that some words actually do have consequences. Actress Susan Sarandon just got dumped by her Hollywood talent agency for anti-Semitic remarks. A spokesperson for the agency telling Fox News Digital that Sarandon is in fact no longer repped by them. The Oscar winner has attended several pro-Palestine rallies since the Israel-Hamas war began, reportedly joining in chants like, from the river to the sea, which calls for the destruction of Israel and by many people, of course, then the resulting annihilation of the Jewish people. The actress has received backlash over the last few weeks, but it's her most recent rant that proved to be the final straw. Take a listen. There are a lot of people that are afraid, afraid of being Jewish at this time and are getting a taste of what it feels like to be a Muslim in this country, so often uh, subjected to violence. That's extraordinary, Molly. You know, this is not only is that incorrect when it comes to the and Asra Namani, there's an article at foxnews.com about the nature of the opportunities that Muslims have in this country, the horrible conditions for Muslims in certain Muslim led countries. Uh, and so that just alone is it doesn't make any sense. But this it, that was pretty much like blaming the victim there. It was, well, you know, the Jews deserve it. Now, now, you know, they were asking for it because yeah. look at how the Muslims are treated. Uh, it, it is extraordinary. Some people, though, think this is another episode of cancellation. Do you think that's accurate or do you think this crosses a different line? Well, what I see unfolding in Hollywood is similar to what we're seeing unfolding in elite academia. And when you come back to blaming the victim, that is one of the things that started all of this is this big statement that went out with a group of students, a collaborative of pro-Palestinian students that blamed Israel entirely for the attack in the, in the wake of October 7th. And we've seen across the country this spiraling back and forth on college campuses uh, seemingly at this elite level. But Harvard's president, Claudine Gay, just the other day condemned that phrase from the river to the sea. Mm -hmm. So there is an element that's beginning to stand up after much criticism for not doing enough to address anti-Semitism on campuses across the nation. But they're, they're beginning to stand up. And a, a Variety article I found kind of addresses this from the Hollywood angle, talking, and they write, the polarization is notable because the industry is largely presented a united front when it comes to politics from its blanket opposition to former president Trump to its uniform support of reproductive rights. But when it comes to Israel, the cracks are showing. You know, the cracks of what the real moral issue, Dr. Nicole Sapphire, of whether or not, you know, the struggle of whether or not you can stand with people who committed a crime against humanity, as though that's like misgendering someone. Uh, this is, I think, something quite much more dramatic, don't you, when it, when it comes to, and thank goodness how we are reacting. Some of us, some out there want us to be morally confused about what the issue is. Well, certainly. And, you know, while I, you know, I found extremely repulsive, her hyperbolic diatribe was clearly anti-Semitic. Um, I would prefer, though, to not continue on with cancel culture. And I would rather boycott her movies rather than have her be fired for something or, you know, someone not allow her to speak because we are in the United States of America and we are blessed with the ability to have free speech. I may disagree with just about every word that comes out of her mouth. Um, but again, I'd rather boycott and not support her, not support her films than to go see her being fired. Um, but again, that is the freedom of having a private business as well. That if you believe that someone is not aligned with your values, then you can fire that person. So I do, I believe in their right to do that, but I also don't want to support cancel culture. And we have to be honest, she peaked in the 90s. I mean, God bless, I loved her in the 90s. And what has she done since then? Not much. Um, so I think we need to just kind of let her go and just fade off into the mist. Well, True. This is where I care to you in that I would disagree in that there is a distinctive difference here between cancel culture, which was, you know, and is vile and is to punish, frankly, just conservatives, versus the standing with uh, a, a, a horrible, heinous terrorist group. Oh yeah, the left being invented. Yeah, the left invented cancel culture. They changed the rules of the game. But here's the crux of the issue, and this comes down to terrorism. And you look at when these rallies were held afterwards. You there was a Hamas official named Ghazi Hamad who threatened to conduct the October 7th attacks again and again until Israel is annihilated. Then you have uh, allegedly last weekend these remarks were made. So after all 
of these comments after Hamas is saying Israel shouldn't exist. A terrorist organization is saying that. When you're supporting terrorists like that, when you have a platform like Susan has, I we, think the we line have might sitting, blur a little We have bit sitting there. members of Congress, though, saying the same thing. Yeah. So we have to really figure out where, as a country, our moral compass is. That's and exactly the point. It's like, what? who are we becoming and what's going to be happening here, Paul? Well, you know, when I hear this, all I can think of is this is why Alfred Hitchcock called actors talking props, okay? Because realistically, why should her opinion on this, her uninformed opinion on this, carry any more weight than anybody else? In fact, it really should carry less because she's very clearly uninformed. But in her mind, she's here to change the narrative. She's going to teach us all, right? So, and that's Hollywood is showing us what they really are. That's their opinion of themselves. They're supposed to be, you know, Hollywood is how America talks to the world. That's right. And it does matter. Mm -hmm. And at some point along the line, roughly about the 1960s, they decided that, you know what, hey ho, yeah. Western Civ has got to go. That's right. And you know what? Yeah. There are no alternatives. We're the well, last line of defense, we folks. We are. We are. And so we'll see where this goes. But I'm not, uh, un I'm not, uh, I'm not unliking what happened to Susan Sarandon. So more outnumbered in a moment. Hey everyone, I'm Emily Campagno. Catch me and my co-hosts Harris Faulkner and Kaylee McEnany on Outnumbered every weekday at 12 p.m. Eastern or set your DVR. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page for daily highlights.